Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. My last video on this subject looked at some perhaps lesser known Egyptian deities that have really fascinating stories and responsibilities, and I aim to do the same in this video. Here are five of the most interesting that I couldn't cover in the last one. Number 5. Shed Despite the slightly unfortunate name, Shed was a god widely believed by the ancient Egyptians to save people from misfortune or danger. In fact, he was often referred to as the saviour for this very reason. Shed wasn't represented by temples, shrines or cults, but instead was an everyday deity to whom people would turn when they wanted protection from illness or danger. Despite not being worshipped in idol form, he was occasionally represented in jewellery and other objects, taking the form as a young prince and often subduing dangerous animals such as snakes, crocodiles, scorpions and lions. Such was his ability to be the saviour of the people that he was said even to pull strings in the underworld and provide substitutes for men and women desperately not ready to enter yet. Unusually, there's no record of Shed ever calling in favours or demanding that a sacrifice or concession be made in return for his assistance. He really did seem to be a champion of the people. Number 4. Ketesh Known widely in ancient Egypt, Ketesh was the goddess of sexual pleasure and worship. A more recent goddess in the mythology, she was depicted as a fully nude woman standing on the back of a lion, holding a handful of snakes in one hand and a lotus flower in the other. Both of these symbolised fertility and creation. Her portrayal is notable because of her face-on positioning, rather than the usual side-on view of ancient Egyptian art and writings. Ketesh was actually adopted from the religion of Canaan, an ancient Semitic religion that came from the Israel, Syria and Lebanon areas, where she was the goddess of love. Her original name used to mean holy, showing how highly she was revered by these people. When portrayed, she almost always stands between her husband, Reshef, the god of plague and war, and her child, Min, the god of rebirth and renewal. It's interesting to note that Reshef, like Ketesh, was also brought in from Syrian religion and merged with the ancient Egyptian existing mythology. This was actually common practice in the later ages of ancient Egypt. Ketesh was widely worshipped as the goddess of religious sexual ecstasy, making her an important part of the mythology. Number 3. Ake Yet another god that takes the form of a lion, Ake used to appear as a lion with a gaping mouth, but later on he was depicted as two lion torsos fused together facing in opposite directions. One lion is named Duaj, which means yesterday, and the other is named Sefer, which means tomorrow. Described as an earth god, Ake was supposed to defend the horizon, guarding both the east and west borders of the netherworld. He also provided protection for the important sun god Ra by defending him from the attacks of the snake, Apep. In the coffin texts from ancient Egypt's Middle Kingdom period, Aker assumed the role of the god Kerti, taking his place as Ra's ferryman. He protected him on his nightly passage through the caverns of the underworld. There was even one section of the Book of the Dead that tells of Aker hiding the body of Osiris, the god of the dead, underneath his womb in the underworld. A bizarre story, but one that shows Ake was of great importance. Ake's form was often placed over doorways in temples and palaces as a sign of protection, warding off evil spirits. A fierce but honourable deity. Number 2. Mafdet Continuing the theme of protection, Mafdet was a goddess who was responsible for protecting against scorpions and snakes. She usually took the form of a feline, but it was ambiguous as to whether this depiction was indeed some kind of cat, or actually a mongoose. Whatever she was, she was given an honorary title, Slayer of Serpents. Mafdet's portrayal can often be found on vases, stone tomb fragments, and even appeared in the Old Kingdom Pyramid texts, where, much like Ake, she protected the sun god Ra from venomous snakes. Because of her deadliness towards serpents and scorpions, she was often depicted with executioners and their weapons, tearing out sinners' hearts and presenting them to the pharaoh at his feet. This rings quite true to domestic cats, who kill small animals and proudly present them to their owners. Later on in ancient Egyptian history, Mafdet ruled over the Judgment Hall of Duat, beheading the pharaoh's enemies with her claw. By the later ages, she was replaced by the famous cat goddess Bast, but Mafdet's image never disappeared from Pharaoh's tombs where she continued to protect them forever. Number 1. 
Shesmu. This deity is a frightening one. Actually defined as a demon god, Shesmu was a complicated god that specialized in execution, killing, blood, wine, and sometimes oil and perfume. An odd mix, but certainly an important one. Shesmu was rarely depicted, but usually had a lion's head with his teeth and mane covered in blood, often wearing a belt of human skulls. Known as the Executioner of Osiris, this demonic god lived in the underworld and brutally destroyed the souls of people who had sinned in their lifetimes by beheading them. Sometimes he was even said to squeeze the blood out of wrongdoers' heads in a wine press. Despite this more formidable side to him, Shesmu protected the righteous and pious, and offered them red wine, embalming oils, and perfumes. Harsh but fair seems to be the right description for him. This was definitely reflected in the cults who worshipped him as a god to be feared greatly, but also revered for his assistance and importance in the transition of good souls from this life into the next. And that's it from all top fives for this week. I hope you've enjoyed these five and learned something new. There are so many deities in ancient Egyptian mythology that it's actually quite hard to know where to start. These five struck me as particularly interesting, all for different reasons. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, but just remember to be polite and considerate when you're posting your comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube because it really helps me out and you can subscribe for a new video every Tuesday, all on different topics. So peace and love to each and every one of you and I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.